All right, hold on. They, so I, I'm going to have to turn this on you since you're going so hard against Brock on this. Could, could, I, could I ask Skip a question, Rich? Yeah. I just want to ask him a question. Y'all got to make better mm. points. Okay, well, I, I you win. We, 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 Skip, we, we just want to... making pain. I just want to ask... Flashback to December 27th, 1999. Enter to the world a newborn in the hands of Sean and Carrie Purdy. While Sean grew up in Florida and Carrie grew up in California, the couple chose to start their family right in the middle in Phoenix, Arizona. You know, you got kids who go to high school and what are you gonna be when you grow up? The pharmacist or doctor or whatever. Brock, what are you gonna be at five? Football player, hmm. junior high. Brock, what are you gonna be? You got a backup plan. I'm gonna be a football player, mom. College, Brock, I'm going to school for business, mom, but I'm gonna be a football player. Never, ever wavered from yeah. being playing in the NFL. Ever. This kid is the best story probably that's, that has been over two decades. Coming from what the last player taken to in the Super Bowl and lead his team to the Super Bowl because of his play. I love this kid, man. I mean, shoot, I'm looking for a, block, a, a Brock Purdy. See, Brock Purdy had tried all of his life to ignore the noise, the good and the bad. His dad's message was to focus on what you can control, and that had been on his mind since he stepped on campus. His dad would tell him, I've taught my boys to focus on one task at a time. You're no good to anyone or to yourself when you think too far down the road. I'm, I'm, I'm going on my third year in the National Football League. I'm yeah. still part of one of the best yeah. teams on my rookie contract, and we're going to have another chance at it next year. It's not like this team is falling apart or tearing, getting torn apart. Skip, that's why it's no pressure on this kid. There's no, I didn't hear a point you made where you made me convinced that there's pressure on Brock Purdy. I was more impressed, but I, I guess my point is, I at least have been, have been consistent on what I want to see. What I think some people who are trying to manifest a player that they think should get more credit than he's getting, but deep down don't think he's great. What they are basically saying is, I want anything to be able to pull from to say that, see, that's why he's special. And you've got a quarterback that looks like he's 15. <laughs> that is ultimately one of the most mature guys I think I've met that's that age. He really is. He's so mature, so mature beyond his years. Um, handles everything like such professional. Um, and just so proud of just the way he's played this season, the way he's developed, um, the way he leads. Uh, we wouldn't be here without Brock Purdy. Mahomes has been an underdog in four of his last five playoff games, and it would have been five of six if not for late line movement in the AFC title game last year against Cincy when they opened as an underdog. So there is an underdog in this game, and the Niners try as they might, can't play that card because they are as favored as any team over the course of a year in NFL history. They have a quarterback who is invited to the MVP ceremony, yet the, the discussion around him is there's a guy on TV in New York who's mean to him, so let's all <laughs> cry about it. Like, like, And so the Chiefs are the underdogs. Yep. The Chiefs are the team with the broken offense. The Chiefs are the team that couldn't go on the road to win. The Chiefs are the team that was definitely going to lose to Baltimore. And the Chiefs are the team that's underdog San Francisco. Patrick Mahomes, because it doesn't, like... It, Patrick Mahomes winning this puts pushes him closer to Brady, but there's still distance, but it keeps him in that conversation. Him losing this game gives him, again, like I said earlier, a rival that has beat him in the Super Bowl, that is young, that will be in the league for, for a very long time, I would imagine, playing for this team and quarterbacking this team. And unlike his other rivals, they would this guy would have beaten him in the biggest game on the biggest stage. See, Sean's son, Brock Purdy, he knew who he was from a very young age. He grew up surrounded by sports because of his father's background. As a young athlete, Brock had the option to follow his father's path and become a baseball legend just like his dad. Did Brock play other sports growing up, or was it always just football? No, he played baseball, and he was a really good baseball player. He was a shortstop, and he was a pitcher, but just had a passion for football. And, you know, he just to sit on that coffee table, and he'd have that <laughs> football under his arm and just saying just wanting to be in that tv uh my mom too and uh my wife uh, is someone who she inspires me every single day she's the biggest badass i've known uh she's been with me since the start of this uh when i was a scrawny kid at iowa who didn't touch the field and she's pushed me to be a better person every single day she's challenged me to be a better person every day she holds me accountable with everything and then she goes out and tells me to kick ass every single day so uh those two people inspire me every single day Thank you so much. What's, What's up, up, man? Hey, George. Oh, I know you. What's up? <laughs> ah, yes, you yes. did. What did you do? I'm great. I'm great. I'm so excited. Can, I, can, I, can you wear this for our interview? <laughs> I guess so, sure. Yes. <laughs> He's an Irish man. Thank you. 
now I know exactly. I, I, you know exactly who he is at this point. You don't have to sit. Nobody has to go around and say, you know, oh, what's Bro- what, what's Barbary going to do? Who's, what's he about? Like, he's a legit MVP candidate this year in his second season, coming off of a, a major elbow surgery because he's made of the right stuff, you know. And he obviously played a lot of football in college, and that shows in his poise and the way that he plays the position. But um, the the humility, the ability to go out there every single day with a chip on the shoulder to get better, regardless of the outcome of the game, regardless of where we're at in the season, where he's at in the season, that's the that's the the sign of a true competitor, the sign of a true leader for our team. You know, the guy that we got to look to. And so, biggest stage was against Baltimore on Christmas night. That was the every game every of the year. game he's played in the playoffs Four is the biggest stage he's been on all year. Four interceptions. Yeah, that's that's. In the first Skip. half, that's a regular season game. There's no regular season big stage. Skip, they're all the same. Well, that you was the biggest you stage the in the regular this past season. regular season. I think that we was could all that agree. was Baltimore Super Bowl, and they they won their Super Bowl. Well, they just they didn't did. get a ring for it. Skip, yeah. you got it. Now they're at home. Okay. I got you. I hear what you're saying. And right. I could say I could say the biggest stage all year in a division <laughs> rivalry. He lost to the Denver Broncos. Bigger stage. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't make sense. Skip, these are regular season games. And then I don't hear what you're saying. This Pro Bowl quarterback. You Let's just said a Pro Bowl talk. quarterback is the weakest link on his team. I think like that. that, that you could start losing weakest credibility weakest when you yeah. when you start saying that because yeah. there are other people on the team. There, there. If you said their offensive line, maybe the right side of their offensive line is the weakest link on their team. I, I, I so you'd have an argument. They, I'll, I'll, they've I'll, had some no, struggles. No, no, no. Time out. Time but out. We were talking to you. The, the Niners had just lost the NFC Championship game. I think it was nine days after they had lost. Brock had the injury, obviously, and I was just so impressed with with you and your wife and Brock on how grounded you guys were able to still find joy and just to be rooted in Christ in, you know, a very vulnerable moment, if we're being honest, nine days after a situation like that. But then if you go back a year and a half, you're not even sure if your son's going to be drafted or on a team. And a year and a half later, you're getting ready to watch him in the Super Bowl. I just have to imagine there's there's just this beautiful joy that I seem to see within your family and certainly with Brock as he leads that team. In the National Football League. Man, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't see where either of you guys are coming from. The only Brian, reason I'm picking the Brian, Chiefs yeah. is because of Brock Purdy. It's, it's Mahomes over Brock Purdy. Patrick Mahomes is the underdog once again. They're two and a half point dogs in this game. He's now been to four Super Bowls. A lot of people think he's going to wind up going to 10 or 12 Super Bowls. A lot of people have already crowned him the greatest quarterback ever. I don't get it. Prisoners of moment, whatever. It's his time. He's got next, and he's already arrived. I mean, we're, we're a faith-based family, so everything we do is, you know, is prayer and just praying to God. You know, win or lose, you know, understanding who we are as a family, what we believe in, um, and we, we just remind ourselves of that first. Um, we don't get wrapped up in what people think of us or, or um, you know, the bad that could happen. It's, it's, man, what's in front of us? How can we, you know, just be who we are and be authentic as a family? And um, it just helps me, you know, be level-headed and even killed with everything that's about to come. And so it helps me just play my game and um, knowing that I'm loved <laughs> either way, you know, after a game, no matter how I perform. So. Your quarterback is now a young, hungry, and underestimated player titled Mr. Relevant in the 2022 draft. Yeah. What impresses you? What impresses you about Brock? What it, What about Brock Purdy impresses you the most? And how did How did the locker room respect him in such a short period of time? I re- am more impressed by how good of you are at interviewing. That was pretty talented, man. That's a lot of words, and you did a really good job getting through that. Goodness gracious. Do you have a teleprompter somewhere? <laughs> um, that's impressive. Let's see. Um, you know, Brock, what well, he does at a really, really high level, he shows up every single day. He's the same guy. He's very consistent. He has a routine. He's had a routine since the enti- uh, since he's been a rookie, and that's one of the most important things. And I think um, why he won the locker room over so well is I think the locker room liked him to start. Uh, but then when he got his opportunity, when he first stepped into the huddle, he was confident. Uh, he was just confident in his own ability, and it just kind of raised level of confidence behind us. And so it was just, you just knew that the kid loved ball, and he loved to be out there with his teammates. And so that's why we believe in him.
Now, Brock's dad had actually been to this area before because he was a minor league baseball player and had to stop there. Sean Purdy was drafted in the 26th round in the 1991 MLB draft by the California Angels. Purdy was actually drafted multiple times and had multiple opportunities to go start a professional baseball career. But he decided to go to junior college for two years at Valencia Community College and Indian River State College. He would then transfer to the University of Miami to play for the Hurricanes. Purdy went on to have an eight-year professional baseball career, lasting from 91 all the way to 98. In the final year of his career, Purdy played for the Richmond Braves. And at that time, Richmond was the AAA affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. Sean Purdy wound up being one of the best pitchers on that team that season, finishing 3-1 with a 1.8 ERA and over 16 appearances. He struck out over 20 hitters in just 34 innings pitched. But when he got the news that he was having his first son, he decided to hang up the cleats and go all in as a father. Start to Nick Saban told him, you're below average in height. Your arm strength is whatever. Your accuracy is average. But as soon as Saban said that, Brock knew the Crimson Tide coach didn't know who he was because accuracy was one of his biggest strengths. If he plays well and they win, I, I do think you'll give him some love because as you said, only Tom Brady and Joe Burrow have ever beaten Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't recruit. Right now. It's a damn period. I'm sorry, it's a damn period. I, I mean, this is the, 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 I'm just blessed, man. I'm blessed. I want an out the field right now. Everybody wants yeah. to be the underdog. Well, but look, they literally are, though. Nah, they're the defending champs. For some reason, um, everybody used to love us. We used to be one of the most favorite teams. Now everybody is like, we're ready for the Chiefs to lose. I don't know why, what changed, or what dramatic incidents happened to where everybody felt like we should lose now, but uh, it's okay. And um, that's, that's all you can do. It's a little crazier than I thought it was going to be, but it's beautiful. It's an awesome experience. God is good. Despite the numbers we've seen from Brock Purdy, game manager really has to be in an ideal situation and circumstance in order to pull it off. How do you react to that when you heard that stuff about it? Stephen, him? everybody in America has a title, whether you agree with it or not. Is Brock Purdy is a game manager? Hey, that's just what I feel to be facts. But I still reserve the right to say this. To be labeled a game changer, Brock Purdy has to be the best player on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, I don't believe him. Oh. You think he's I, outright I believe making him. something Why would you up? not believe him? Because, because we know what they then did. It's not about Trey Lance. I totally believe that maybe Shanahan liked Brock Purdy more than Trey Lance. That I absolutely believe. Brock Purdy was born in Arizona and attended Perry High School. There, he became the varsity starting quarterback his sophomore year. According to 247 Sports, the division his high school played in was the sixth toughest in the whole entire country. Despite the stiff competition, Purdy led his school to the state championship game in both his junior and senior seasons. So that he is very clearly in God's hands and is like, I'll, I'll, if you want me to play quarterback for the 49ers, great. And if we, like he said when they were down 24-7, he said, he said in the, the other day, uh, he's in the locker room at halftime, he's like, well, God, you know, if you want me to come back, I'll come back. If you want me to, if that doesn't happen, then that's not in the cards. And so it's, it's a, there's a freedom that he feels. Ah. So, so Skip, ah. you notice how, how you always bring up negative clips. I could show you clip after clip on a game-winning <laughs> drive yeah. of him winning this game. We know those plays. But, but when you're All trying right. to make an yeah. asinine point, yeah. you show a, a, yeah. a, a, a almost. All oh, right. man, did you see when he almost missed? Yeah. I, could, I almost did this. I don't, you can't define me. And I just, it's a completely unique way uh, that he's found, uh, and it's fundamental, it's, 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 you talk about his faith, is grounded, it's rooted, and it's not changing. 2019 Brock's sophomore season was set to be his first as the Cyclones' full-time starting quarterback. The team finished the year with a 7-6 record, but Purdy had good stats, completing 65% of his passes for 3,900 yards, 27 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. The big X factor here is this poor kid who was taken last in the draft. The potential weak link on the 49ers is their quarterback. He's he's not chasing Humble. anything but credibility and validation. That's what he's chasing because people are trying to dismiss him as a game manager. And that's why there's no pressure. Uh, no, that's, that's the why there's no side. pressure. The, the pressure is suffocating on him. He he is How the is one pressure? who doesn't belong. He's not it's like anything. a weird Waldo just picture, that. and you pick Waldo, and it's Brock Purdy. I know who I am, and. 
God, if you want me to do great with this, great. If not, all right, let's go do something else wherever you need me. And um, that's allowed me to not put all this pressure on myself. It's allowed me to play free. It's allowed me to live my life and keep things simple.